Hello everyone, Toby from AbletonDrama.com here. I have some new devices for you, some new Max for Life devices, which can deactivate, recolor or delete already played clicks, clips in uh, Ableton Live session view. So this can come handy if you are using the session view to play to DJ, for example. So you might have like thousands or hundreds of songs uh, in clips here or if you just um, play live you might not want to come back to the song or the clip you already played so you want to get some visual feedback on what you already played here so let's have a look on the deactivation here so this clip here now is being playing and you have this uh, deactivate played clips on this track device on here so if I now play a new beat you can see the beat before will get deactivated after one second so that's what it's set to now so i can set this longer if i if i want to so sometimes you might want to get some time in between deleting or deactivating or recoloring stuff so this can be done here so let's do this real quick four seconds set to four seconds now so if i play the next clip here you can see it's counting down to one bomb you know so you get some more time if you made a change by mistake you can deactivate the device here so this device is only applying or is applying this to all clips on this whole track so we have some different device here which is recoloring so recoloring works like this you can pick a color so let's maybe pick yellow here or red or whatever let's stay with yellow and if I now play a different bass loop here one. You can see this clip changed its color. So this is obviously visually quite nice as well, but um, the clip still can be triggered. So with deactivating, um, you have one good way here of not um, playing this again again so if you um, when you're playing live I mean so when you want to deactivate those clips you just need to select the clips and press zero so if you're selecting all of those you're selecting one select the next one just hold shift in between and then you have multiple clips selected and this way it's quite easy after you played your set saying setting everything back again same with the colors it could work this way so if you have a lot of clips playing and uh, just select all clips click on one clip shift and then maybe the last clip just to give you one example and then if you press press right click and assign track colors to clips hello what's happening here assign track colors to clips now you um, change the color back so the last device here of this pack it's a three pack device uh, three devices in this pack <clears throat> would be to delete plate clips so that's quite destructive you could say make sure that you don't save your set after that and uh, that you always have a copy of your set here so if you don't want to use the recoloring or the deactivating if you really want to say well i want this clip being deleted you can use the delete plate clip on this track device so for this let's set this up to maybe six seconds here so i play this uh, set again if I now change it's counting down four three two one and now the clip is being deleted the clip which was playing beforehand let's take one more oh one and deleted okay so this way you will get a nice overview of stuff what is happening here and if we do this like this, just to show you, you know, you get all those different functions in here. So if you're moving um, devices from one track to another, you need to make sure to press refresh here because it needs to get the whole information here. It's, it's um, triggering the delete sign here, but it's not deleting everything. If you press refresh, you can see, okay, so nothing is being changed here. Okay, there's one more thing I want to mention. Those action can be only triggered when you play another clip. So um, this only means like this gonna happen when I 
trigger another clip. So this clip now is gonna get deleted. But if I stop the transport, no action is being applied. And if I stop all clips here, no action is being applied as well. And if I stop clips here, no action is being applied as well. So if I um, just stop clips, nothing, nothing is happening. Only if you play another clip, this action will be applied. So just to show you, this is deleting the clip now. Bam. If I stop the clip, clear empty clip slot, nothing is happening. Okay, so this, this way you stay on top of um, what's happening here and how to apply this action or not. So if you want to do this via playing no clip, you could always set up a dummy clip. You could trigger, um, which would act like a stop uh, thingy. So if we take this one here, for example, and let's say stop and action, we can now use this clip. Obviously we need to silence this clip and we can set this to even be um, shorter so you can even set this clip not to uh, listen to the global launch quantization so if you want to um, have a clip being um, deleted and stopping um, straight away this would be one option here so we don't need to warp this actually so now what i want to show you this clip here is playing and if I say stop this immediately and the action is being triggered now, you can see it's counting down and bam, the clip gets deleted. Okay, so those are Macs for Live devices. If you're interested in those, please follow the link in the video description. Um, if you need, well, you will need Max for Life to make use of those devices I created. Max for Life is included in the Ableton Live Suite version or can be bought as an add on towards Ableton Live Standard. If you have Ableton Live Standard, if you have Light or um, Intro, the different Ableton Live versions, um, you can't make use of those devices, but you can always download the 90 days Ableton Live trial of the suite version, which is fully functional. So um, this is um, available to everyone. It's for free, you can check it out. And then you can get my devices and check if you want to make this upgrade or if you don't have an Ableton Live license already, you can check out if Ableton Live at all is something for you. Okay, stay tuned, bye bye.